I first started working for Driver Select about four years ago. I've been working at Driver Select since, uh, for a year and a half. Eight years in August. I've been with Driver Select for six years. I have been here for one year and nine months. I initially started by selling cars. Um, that was only about a two month, three months tops uh, deal for me. It just wasn't my, it wasn't my cup of tea. It wasn't something I, I was that great at. So I decided to move into something a little bit more um, paperwork oriented, a little bit more where I could be one on one with a customer. Um, and so I moved into settlement. Um, I did settlement for almost two and a half years. Uh, and then an opportunity came about where I could move into a position of being uh, basically the customer care manager as well as uh, the WOW coordinator. Um, and the WOW program was just so intriguing to me. It was something we just started. Uh, no one really knew what it was gonna turn into and now it's, it's such a big part of who we are. Well, I was hired as the controller and over the years I'm uh, still heavy into accounting. I'm kind of the mother of the dealership. I've gotten more involved in the activities and uh, I guess the entertainment part of the dealership. So um, I just try to make it, you know, a fun and inviting and energizing, you know, atmosphere upstairs and down. I originally started out in um, finance. I was uh, working with the sales guys directly and submitting deals over to the bank. And um, as the company progressed and we grew and changed and evolved, I slowly started taking over um, funding and settlement. It, it makes me feel good that I can help people out specifically in regarding to funding and, and answer questions, not just for our sales team and the team as overall, but especially the customers and guide them in better directions as well as they uh, make uh, decisions in life. I started out in settlement, um, just printing and signing customers. I've now moved on to more of the finance side, the funding side, accounting side. I feel like I've been here six years and I still learn something new every day. And because I've been here for six years, I've seen where I've came from and where I can go and where I can still go. The possibilities are endless if you keep your mind open. I began in my role as controller and I'm still there. Um, my growth has been more about the car industry in because I came from hospitality hotels which is a completely different industry so for me just my knowledge base of cars my plan is one day to be a Jeff Axton and um, he's our COO um, or CFO and so I don't see that I can't grow in the company um, definitely we're small now but with the growth that we plan, there should be no reason I can't grow. I think every girl looks up to their mom and, and hopes to be you know, the woman that she was. Um, I would have to say my mother. Uh, she was a very strong business person. My mom, I mean, as she's been through a lot in her life. She's taught me to be the woman that I am today, to be the mother that I am today. My grandmother, she raised me. She um, taught me what it is to be a good person, how to love, how to care, and most importantly, how to understand others. And uh, um, I, I basically live my life through her memory. So, One of the ones that I look back on was Joan of Arc. And her faith and her courage to step out and do something in the time that she did it. I mean, she, that to me is a strength that I want. Inner strength, outer strength, if I'm called on, I want to be able to step up and do what needs to be done. My mom is an incredible woman. She's been a hard worker her whole life. She's always been honest. She's a good friend to everyone. You know, she comes from that generation that's not afraid to work hard. She's, you know, just puts her kids first and she's just got, an incredible heart and, and, and she's someone that you want to be friends with you know she's a good person all around and I just I love my mom to death. I watched you know the sacrifices that that my parents made for us growing up and uh, it was a work ethic even though I didn't start working until I was you know in my mid-20s I still had that work ethic and I knew what it took and you know what you had to do to you know uh, go home at night and feel good about what you've done and you know provide for your family. She's 
been through a lot in her life. She's taught me to be the woman that I am today, to be the mother that I am today. Seeing her hit complete rock bottom and watching her pick herself up on her own and get back to where she needed to be to make sure my brother and I had a good life is definitely what I strive to be. I hope that I'm half the mother that she is.